I welcome here Dr. Sanya Pendrovala from Saint GS Medical College and KM Hospital Mumbai. She has been, you know, a great, a wonderful scholar throughout the year, and she has scored rank nine in All India PG 2014 and rank five in Maharashtra CET. She has done fantastically well, and I wish her all the best in life. Sanya, just tell me how do you feel today? It feels amazing. In fact, during the result time, when it came, you actually don't get the feeling that you're actually rank nine. You will get whatever you want, and you don't really expect to be so. But it feels amazing. Amazing. That's great. Yeah. And uh, you definitely would be feeling amazing because uh, uh, this is something very few people achieve in life. Well, would you like to give this credit to someone in special or to whom I may ask? Definitely, my family. My parents have been very supportive. My friends have a healthy competition. We discuss; it is very nice, and definitely to dance. Now that uh, you have been so kind to us, uh, let me just ask you: What subjects to concentrate? You know, while you were preparing for a tough exam like PGME, uh, you should concentrate on patho, micro, physio, and uh, uh, pharma. They are very important. Finally, or you've just done, so it is like an internship. You are kind of re you remember final year. but these subjects are little far behind and it's like sometimes you miss on on simple things which actually will get you a rank higher than others well any any other subjects that come into your mind short subjects actually if you do it nicely you actually crack most of the mcqs which is necessary to get a good rank but these subject you should concentrate on because there are bulk mcqs so it's good for you and if you are doing uh, if you even just go through textbooks for them then it's better because nowadays they actually pick up lines from textbook in maharashtra pg as well as ai pg m that's that's great and uh, may i now ask you that if you can uh, tell something about you know your time spent in dams because you have joined uh, a classroom course in dams yes. so how was your time uh, with dams while you were preparing it was very good i have been a dams student since third minor i have attended uh, courses for a long time it's like once you it's like repeated times you listen you remember it more it's like that so that is why it was very good the teachers are very good it, you they clear your doubts really nicely and uh, they actually guide you to what you should study and what subjects to focus on all right that's great uh, so uh, can you tell me a little more that uh, you know uh, a more focused way in a more focused way that how did it help you, you know after joining dams or uh, dams will uh, each each uh, week you have a class so you get oriented on what i have to study that day once you get the get through the class you when they are asking you questions which are good the tests are very good they are very predictive tests they actually can tell sometimes the questions also come in the exams and they also tell you that this part of the subject is important it is repeatedly asked and you can go through the textbook as well for that topic that's great uh, i i can personally feel uh, you so i personally feel that you're just like a dams family because you have been associated <laughs> with, with us you know for a long uh, long time now well uh, any particular thing uh, that helped you while you were in dams uh, you would be the right person to answer on that because you have been associated with, with us you know uh, for a long time any particular thing that comes into your mind is like the teachers are very friendly what they teach in two days is a lot It's like if you revise what you have done, even if even if you are taking from third minor, just give few hours to read that what you have done on Saturday Sunday. It's going to help you a lot later on while you are in internship because internship is very difficult to manage along with internship. It is very difficult. So if you have completed a little portion in your third minor or final year, it will give you a real uh, boost over others. Any comments on the dams study material? the study material was very good the written notes are very good uh printed notes biochem physio were very good they should be done because the last minute revision from that is very easy to do biochem especially they've got cycles which the mcq books also sometimes don't have they have extra cycles as well and uh, other subjects i read the, the print uh, written notes class notes uh, uh, printed notes i did not get so much time to read So apart from dams notes, uh, what other particular books uh, did you refer? The MCQ books should be done. It's like an internship; you don't have so much time. You should focus on doing what you want to. The basic aim would be stick to one book, revise it at least two times. That is necessary. It's like if a person is with you, 
he must have read the entire portion once but what is it that what you reproduce during the exam if you don't remember it it doesn't matter what you've read hmm. so you should revise what you are reading hmm. and at least two revisions will definitely get you a rank that's that's wonderful that's uh, that's a very valuable input you have given here then what kind of uh, you know pattern of study do you propose while you are preparing for a tough exam and doing internship all together uh, what kind of pattern of study do you, do you propose see as soon as our uh, final year results were out after a week or two weeks or so i started there was one week, one month in between for uh, the dams uh, session to start so during that time you can either do first year subject that is anat physio biochem or pathopharmac micro these are important subjects which you should give more time and it is because you don't have your internship at that time you should focus on them you should give 7 to 10 days for a major subject and 5 days for a minor subject so in that time you will finish your first reading in 4 to 5 months and you will take an, whatever you've underlined in the first first reading and whatever questions you've marked in the first reading you have to give that a second revision because you have to go through fast so that will take around half the time of that and third revision will take whatever you underlined in the second revision so at least you will finish this by september so you even if it goes a little ahead it won't matter you much because maybe the exam will be earlier so it you will be prepared earlier great great that that's really uh, great to know uh, uh, sunny don't mind uh, uh, my asking you this that what difference did you notice in yourself you know before joining uh, the classroom coaching and nams and after you have joined and you know finished that It's like when we are studying, we generally study in bulk. We were like we want to do cover to cover, and whatever is coming in, we do that because we like to gain knowledge. As MBBS, everybody wants to know more, so it's like it focuses you. This is important. This is asked because everything they go into deep at times, and it is really frustrating at times seeing questions. Is like what am I going to do with this later on? Why do I need to know this? but that is how it is so you have to do that so they tell you what topics are important hmm. and what you have to do hmm. so you have to focus on that that you will even get to know during the M while you're solving mcqs what is important what is recently asked but now in aipg me they have a lot of questions hmm. and they have a lot of new questions hmm. so that is why you need to go through few subject textbooks hmm. because that will give you a real edge over anybody else who's giving the exam Right. So what I can gather with your inputs here is that uh, you can totally depend on the dams faculty for the guidance thing. Yes, they tell you what to read. What to read and even how to read. Yeah, true. Right. Great. So uh, any perfect mix for preparation, uh, you know, for for a uh, for tough exam like PGME. So the the way I said mm -hmm. that you have to go through till October when you're doing when you're doing a third revision. What I did was whatever was marked, I used to make one or two pages each subject for things which I can't remember. and that is what i did for all the 19 subjects and just one day before the exam i read all the pages that i had written so that make me made me feel that at least i have done something of all subjects one day before a little confidence that i remember it so that is what helped me okay uh, dr sanya do you mind telling me here that uh, your interaction with the faculty helped you in your preparation in any way yes they did they are very welcoming they are they answer questions completely nicely meaning they will tell you correct references this is given here because there are a lot of questions which are wrong and and you don't know because while you are reading for the first time you have no idea what is wrong what is right in the start even we used to think what is the question wrong i i don't get it where it is and then you can mark whatever you feel is wrong and then you can ask them during the during when your test is there it's like you complete your portion just the day before the uh, classroom is going to be and you can ask them all the marked questions they actually wait answer and then they leave so they are very patient and very answering well i would uh, you know mention it once again here that you have been telling us so generously about uh, managing your time while you are preparing one last uh, input on that and uh, you know that would be you know uh, great on you uh it is very important to do time time management because once you are done with final year in internship people generally get loose they feel there's a lot of time there is no exam bounding so they don't study in the start but it's like one year you have to work hard to get through one year you work hard you have to think from the start i do i want to do this or it is okay if i don't want it if you want to do this you have to work hard one year to get through this and how do you divide this one year into uh the way i said four five months for uh, subjects to do it first time two months for the second revision and one month at least for the third revision that's that's really valuable you know some precious inputs uh, by the topper himself 
Well, uh, what branch do you wish to specialize in now? Surgery. Surgery. That's yeah. wonderful. I wish you all the best in your life. Thank you. Uh, any uh, faculties in particular you wish to mention here who had helped you in your preparation time? There were a lot of teachers. Dr. Uh, Sumer Sethi, Raji, Dr. Rajiv Tiwari, Dr. Primanchu Bhushan, the ortho faculty, ENT faculty, pathology faculty. They were all very good. That's, that's wonderful. Uh, any tips uh, for the aspiring medicos here by, by, by the topper? They, they have to do hard work. That is what they have to understand to do this. Any recommendations for the PG aspirants? Go through, the, be focused, know what you want to do. Once you've decided where you want to go, what you want to do, get you know around what rank you have to get and go through all the things aiming at that. And join dance. <laughs> That's, that's nice and uh, uh, that's wonderful. So uh, what I can make out from all the inputs that you have given us that you uh, have got uh, a lot of uh, experience, a lot of uh, help from DAMS and you owe your success to DAMS. Yeah, sure. It, it has been a very, uh, very good faculty. They answer your questions very nicely. It has been very nice that I had joined DAMS. I had joined uh, an earlier two-year course and then I took a one-year course because I was sure I wanted to be here only. That's great. And I wish you all the best, uh, Dr. Sanaya Pendrawala here with me. Rank 9 AIPG 2014 and Rank 5 Maharashtra CET. I wish you all the best in life. God bless you. Thank you.